One more time. I'm having a little trouble getting the camera started this morning. Today is uh, September 18th. It's a Monday. Susan and I are going out for a bike ride this morning. Uh, we are going to be um, uh, taking advantage of today because tomorrow and to t Tuesday and Wednesday are supposed to be kind of crummy around here with um, Hurricane or Tropical Storm Jose skirting the uh, southern Connecticut shoreline. So it's supposed to be windy and rainy around here. So we're not going to be out riding in that weather. Maybe we'll be doing Zwift. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along this morning. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, some topics along the ride this morning. Uh, I think the first thing I'll be talking about is uh, uh, the Garmin computer, uh, the bike computer, uh, the Wahoo bike computer, and Strava, and how the three of them don't seem to play very nicely together. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. So this morning I thought I'd have a little discussion about uh, Strava, Garmin, and Wahoo Fitness. I use a uh, Garmin device for recording my writing activities that then gets uploaded to Garmin Connect, which is a website, and is automatically linked and uploaded to Strava. Susan uses the Wahoo Fitness app and she runs the Reflex bike computer, which sits on her handlebars and her iPhone is tucked away in a case behind her that communicates with that device. And when she's done with her ride, Wahoo records her activity on her phone and also uploads it to Strava. But Susan and I have been a little frustrated recently because What we seem to be finding out is that Strava does not treat the Wahoo data with the same sort of uh, respect, if you will, <laughs> as it does with the Garmin data. Now both uh, Susan and I use a separate speed and cadence sensor, which are Bluetooth devices made by Wahoo to communicate with both uh, my Garmin and uh, her Wahoo Fitness app. And my assumption is, with specifically with Garmin, is that Strava is using the sensor data to determine or provide the distance that I ride and the speed at which I ride. So when it comes to Garmin, I kind of held Garmin up as the standard in terms of accuracy for uh, the distance of my activities and the average speed at which I'm riding. And we, that is Susan and I, could not figure out why it was that when Susan uploaded her Wahoo data that Strava would knock almost two or three miles off the distance she, she rode, it would not recognize the fact that she was stopped for as long as she was. In other words, her ride time was significantly greater than mine. So therefore, she not only didn't ride as fast, I'm sorry, didn't ride as far as I did on the same ride I took, but she was riding for a longer period of time, which also doesn't make sense because we start and stop uh, together we ride together so when Strava gets done with her upload it's calculating her average speed and her average speed is sometimes a mile and even greater a mile per hour slower than me well obviously she's not riding that much slower than me because we're riding together so I was trying to figure this out and then I finally came to the realization that, oh wait a minute, 
Wahoo uses the phone's GPS system and as far as I understand the iPhone GPS is not nearly as accurate or sensitive or reliable if you will as what Garmin has in their devices so I said okay that's probably the difference right there Strava doesn't care about your speed and cadence sensors from Wahoo Fitness app but it does take the GPS data that Wahoo grabs from your phone and uses that for calculating all those separate metrics. So just for the hell of it, hell of it, I said, okay, let's do this. Let's take the exact same ride that we typically do, or near the same ride, and uh, let's compare the differences between riding uh, using my GPS data from Garmin and instead of Susan running the Wahoo Fitness app to record her ride, have her use the Strava app on the iPhone. Big surprise, kids. The mileage was very close, within two or three tenths of what I had. The moving time was fairly close and the average speed was within about a half a mile. Considerably closer than what Strava reports once you provide it a file from Wahoo. So, I don't know if uh, this is something deliberate that, deliberate that Strava is doing with Wahoo data uh, or it's just happenstance that one day writing with recording a GPS file using the iPhone that uh, Strava managed to pick up the data a little more correctly than what Wahoo does. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the other interesting thing that I found in our last ride is I went back and I reviewed the GP GPS track that uh, my Garmin showed that I had ridden. And at the beginning of the ride, leaving my house, Garmin said I went off in a straight line in the woods where there is no roads over a, a large lake, which is about a half a mile distance, and then had me turning around on a triangulation back to and getting me on course. So, I thought to myself, whoa, what the hell is Garmin doing now? So, can I not rely on Garmin as well to record the correct GPS data? I mean, I understand it's supposed to be fairly close, but that was so far off the mark, I, ca I can't even imagine what the hell made it do that. And the last thing I'll say about uh, Strava and uploading my Garmin data is on my last ride Strava gave me credit for doing max speed of 58 miles an hour when my max speed was 27 so I'm not sure what Strava is up to and how these things sometimes are uh, questionable but I guess what I'm coming away with is that Strava and Garmin uh, and Wahoo and Garmin and all these apps that uh, read through data probably are making their best guess using GPS data. So don't hang on too tightly to the numbers that you get from Strava in terms of its accuracy. Use that as a very strong guideline but as far as I'm concerned uh, it's just a pretty close approximation to what you are actually doing. So, that's my observation. Thank you for watching this video this morning. I hope you enjoy it and uh, subscribe and uh, like. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.